the younger generation played a key role. We walk as a group, we didn't walk as individuals. Dora. They succeeded in killing my friends. Dora. But they cannot stop us. Jawab, give them. Yeah, I'm Murchino. The media. It's one of the factors in falling of this system. Dora. It's not a picture, it's a message. Dora. That is fantastic, guys. Ah, wonderful. <laughs> So the overt conflict is gone, and now we have a new government, and then yeah. dealing with reconciling the different people. Yeah, yeah. 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 And in Sudan, in your protests against uh, the dictator, you decided not to use violence? But yeah, but they use it violence. They use violence against yeah. you, yeah? Yeah, they yeah. use it against us. Did you see it? Sure. Did you experience it? Yeah. Why did the movement decide to not use violence back? Why did they decide to stay non-violent? We decided to use another way which wasn't being used before in the history of Sudan. Uh -huh. And it, was, it worked out, yeah. So, also because of its success, it shows that yeah. it's the right option. When I came here, I was feeling homesick. The culture and the situation is totally different from my country. For 10 days, I was like, I want to be back home, I want to be back home, I was like this. But after 10 days, I became familiar with this. And right now, I feel excited, I'm interested in this new community. I want to be one of the leaders in Sudan. They said you have to improve some skills, you have to improve your studies, and this opportunity will help you really a lot. So I've came here to Maastricht. The poem is telling people about their rights and how can we deal with this government, and we are strong and powerful enough to get rid of this government. We can do it by our unity. Honestly speaking, I was a bit uh, uh, disappointed because without light, uh, I cannot uh, take any, any, any picture. The security service cut the electricity. In every political activities, in every resistant activities, they used to use this method, cutting the electricity. It was no light at all, but suddenly I realized that I could see and uh, people are using uh, mobile phones to, lead the, to light the place. He was a special for me because his expression, he attracts so much. That kind of a charismatic uh, character was so special. So I just focusing on him. Most of my friends, they've been arrested by the government. They've been really tortured. Two of them were being killed. How did you escape? Sometimes in my homes, I skipped to neighbors or sometimes to my uncle's home. Yeah, I was afraid, but at the same time, I was optimistic. Oh, yes, then it's improving. Come on. Yes, come on. Come on. ايوه يعني بس عايزين التغيير اللي بيحصل انه مظاهر الفساد وثاني محاسبه القتله والمجرمين في المتسببين في الابادات اللي حصلت في دارفور 
Yeah. Mostly we talk about politics, controversial issues, yeah, we discuss it. And we are always like, we disagree with each other and it's fine. I really wanted to apologize to you because I didn't introduce myself and explain why I took the picture at that moment. Yeah, that is excellent performance and I like your braveness. You're a brave guy. I know that you couldn't and you failed in understanding the language of people, but you understand it, your body language, and that is the main point. Now I, I see you working, studying well. So I really hope, do hope that this uh, charismatic character is in some day, in, at some point of your life, you use this talent for the Sudan. The winning of this picture, it's a great victory for freedom, great victory for mankind, and great victory for all of the human beings. That is fantastic, guys. Ah,